Hello everyone, I welcome you all for this SVK tutorial. In this video, I am going to continue the solution for model question paper 1 which has been affected from 2022 for the first semester BE degree examination with the subject title Mathematics for Computer Science Stream 1 with subject code DMATS101. As I discussed earlier, mod, uh, the solution for module 1, module 2, module 3. So, in this video, I will be solving the problems of module 5. So, module 5 is of linear algebra. Now, let us see the solution for question number 9 and 10. Moving on to the solution part, 9a is of rank problem. They have provided the matrix. We are required to, we are required to find the rank of the given matrix. So, how to find the rank of the matrix means just reduce the column matrix just go with uh, applying a row reduced echelon form so what is that row reduced echelon form means the leading entry should be non zero and below the le leading entry should be zero so that is the aim of uh, the solving this problem so when i look at the given problem it is uh, the leading entry is having a uh, two year and below the entry as having one year so that's why i'm going to interchange uh, the first row and second row so i'm going to get uh, the first row has 1, 2, 3, minus 1 and second row has uh, 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1 after applying row operation. So, now making uh, the below leading entry as 0, here 2 and 1 should be made, made it as 0. So, we shall do that one by applying an row operation. R2 changes to R2 minus 2 times of R1. R3 changes to R3 minus R1. I have left out with this matrix. So, then when I observe the third column, it is having common elements as uh, 2 here. So, divide this uh, row by minus 2. That is what I have done. And as I observed, uh, the second row, uh, second element will be called as leading entry. It is having minus 5. Below the entry, A, when I observe, uh, it, which is having minus 2 and 1 here. So, I will shift this 1 to the second row. So, that is what I have made the operation R2 changes to R4. So, after doing that operation, I have left out with this matrix. Then I should make these elements as uh, 0, these two elements as 0. So by applying row operation, I have got this matrix. I have left out with this matrix. This is what the row reduced echelon form. So the rank of the matrix is 2 here since the number of unknowns are, the number of non zero rows are only 2 rows. So moving on to question number uh, 9b. So this 9th b, 9c, and 10th uh, a also 10th b have been solved these problems in my previous video you can refer those videos and i will be giving this link in my description you can go through that link and you can verify the solution if you have any doubts you can put a comment i will clear your doubts here in 10th b i have solved for a equal to lambda and b equal to mu in this problem they have provided a and b but in my previous video, uh, I have solved for lambda and mu. That is the only changes I have done here. Moving on to question number uh, 10c. Solve the system of equation by Gauss elimination method. For the given system of equation, we require to apply Gauss elimination method and solve the system of equation. So, by given system of equation, consider the augmented matrix A is to B. A is nothing but the uh, square matrix uh, from the coefficient of uh, x, y, z. We are going to collect the uh, elements of uh, coefficients of x, y, z. That is what the matrix A. And matrix B will be a constant values called 9, 8, 3. It will be implemented in column wise. So that is what I have written. So therefore, A is to B. I have written as augmented matrix. Then the problem will be followed as same as uh, rank of the matrix. You can solve this problem by the method of rank itself. So I got the reduced form, row reduced echelon form. I have not done uh, uh, the leading entry as one. Since I am going to re rewrite this in equation format. So this is what the system of equation I have got. x plus y plus z equal to 9 minus 3y plus 2z equal to minus 1. 11z equal to 44. Solving this system of equation, I am going to get z value as uh, 4, y value equal to 3 and x equal to 2 is the required solution for the given system of equation. I think you all understood only two problems have been solved but rest of the problems have been solved in the previous video. You can go through that video and if you have any doubts you can ask me. Thank you all for watching this video.